friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach. I follow Weight Watchers and I count calories and macros. Happy Saturday, it is Saturday so it's grocery haul day and I have a massive, 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 massive grocery haul for you. New food finds, lots of fun things so if you're excited, give this video a big huge thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and your bell is turned on because we do a grocery haul every Saturday and five videos every single week. Check out the description box down below for nutrition coaching where I offer personalized to you macros and calories. Highly, highly recommend. This is how I've lost almost 140 pounds as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching if you would like to chat with me directly. Links and discounts to my favorite things and my Facebook group. Come join us there. We'd love to have you. So let's head on into the kitchen for the massive, massive grocery haul. So the first part of my grocery haul is from Trader Joe's. I stopped in really quick while Lola was at chemo. It's about a five minute drive. So I've been able to pick up a lot of my staples. So let me show you what I grabbed from Trader Joe's. First I picked up some fresh flowers. These ones actually are, I think two or three weeks old. They still look pretty good, but I did wanna get some of the really pretty kind of Easter colored, I guess they're daisies. Does it say on there? Mums, they're mums. So we got some pretty Easter colored mums. I also needed some breadcrumbs for a couple of recipes and I think all I have on hand is panko. And then I thought these sounded really good. You know I like my peppermint, my ginger. I just like spicy treats in general. And I grabbed these Cookie Thins Triple Ginger. You can actually have nine cookies for 100 and 10 calories. I don't see myself having nine of them, maybe just a couple as a sweet treat, so I grabbed those. And then some banana bread for Troy. I thought that would give him something to have before I head to Costco tomorrow to pick up all the grocery haul from Costco. I have a massive haul. This is just part one for you guys. So this is the vegan banana bread and it's actually really, really good. And then I grabbed the sour cream and onion corn puffs. You guys know I love these ones and I thought that I would grab the sour cream and onion. I've heard really good things about these as well and you can have a lot of them for the points and calories. Another bag of the organic olive oil popcorn for Troy. I think I'm gonna grab Lesser Evil but this will at least tide him over until I finish my grocery shopping. And then I did get these ones. I actually ate some of these while I was waiting for Lola. These are so good. I regret now not getting two bags because they're really, really delicious. And then I stocked up on some more dog treats, another bag of the Better Than Leftovers. These are nice soft treats and they're small. Same with these Chucuterie. These are little small biscuits. And then I did grab the organic chicken and brown rice sticks. A couple of spices that I was running low on, cinnamon and garlic powder. You can't beat the price for spices at Trader Joe's. I fell in love with these multigrain crackers. These are so, so good. I actually like these better than my little wheat thins from what is it, Nature's Path or whatever. These are so good. Actually, the guy at the checkout at Trader Joe's was saying that his wife is in love with these crackers and the mango, and I told him I was in love with the mango too. I actually bought some of this when I was in San Diego. It's just a really good way to get in some fruit on the go. And then you know I love my ginger for digestion. I usually eat one piece once or twice a day just to help digest everything. It works really, really well. And this time I got the crystallized. Last time I got the uncrystallized. All the nutrition information was the same. I don't even know what the difference is, to be honest. I'll definitely have to Google that. But this is just a great way to just speed up and progress digestion. I did grab some salsa for my boot camp girls night out. We're doing a taco bar and I'm in charge of guacamole and salsa. And then some fat-free refried beans. I said last time that I loved the ones from Trader Joe's because they have some seasoning. They're so, so good. And then while I was there, I grabbed another pack of my Jarlsberg Light Swiss. I love this cheese. And of course, another bag of the light three cheese blend, also one of my favorite cheeses from Trader Joe's. And then last but not least, kiwis. I don't know why, these just sounded really, really good. And I think it was $3.50 for six of them, which I thought was a really good deal. So that is everything that I picked up from Trader Joe's. Why are you whining? Do you think these groceries are for you again? Why do you think all the groceries are for you? <gasps> Palmer, are the groceries for you or are they for mommy and daddy? I guess there is stuff for you. There is stuff for you. Palmer, there's stuff for you. 
So here's the rest of my grocery haul from both Fry's, which is a Kroger store, and then of course my massive, massive stock of haul at Costco. So the first thing I picked up from Costco is the variety pack of Ziploc bags. These were on coupon. I always buy this one. It's a lot better, I think, than buying huge cases of all the different styles of bags. This actually has the gallon, the half gallon, the snack, and the sandwich. I also grabbed some sugar, this pure cane sugar. I bought this at Walmart, and it was so expensive, and this entire bag was only $6 at Costco, and it is an organic pure cane sugar, so a much better option, super affordable. And then they had this pasta on sale at Kroger store. So I bought this. This is the Veggie Craft Made with Sweet Potato Penne Pasta. It actually has 200 calories and not as many carbs as regular pasta. So I thought that it would be fun to try. And it was on sale for $2.49. I also picked up two more jars of Rayos at Costco. This is, this is also currently on coupon. Two jars for $9. And these are the big jars, which is a better deal than the small jars at Sam's Club. So if you're a Costco member, this is the best time to pick up Rayos. I grabbed some more Omeprazole for Troy. This this is for his heartburn. I also grabbed him a ham. I like to buy the pre-sliced ones. They didn't have it at Costco. So this is just a big hunk of ham. He likes to have this for breakfast. He fries it up sometimes, puts it on a breakfast sandwich. So I grabbed that and a loaf of white bread for him as well. He was completely out of bread. This is his favorite potato salad from Kroger. This is the red potato salad. It was on sale for $3.50, so I thought that he could have that as a side with his lunches. He did some diced ham for a recipe, so this is the Smithfield Anytime Diced Ham, and then you know how I love a good meat deal, and this is the only one I could find at Fries this morning, this is their 93% organic ground beef. It was only $3.91 a pound, normally $8 a pound. So less than half off. They had three pounds on sale, so I picked up all three. Also at Costco, the Boyce's Bacon Nutty Dog Treats are on sale, $6.99, really good deal. These have nice, clean ingredients. So if you're mindful of the ingredients in your dog treats, the Boyce's are really good. So I actually grabbed two bags. Two cans of green beans for my lunch meal prep, and then I did grab another sugar-free jello pudding. This is the white chocolate, you know, you already know, protein pudding. And I was out of, oh, this is the cheesecake, not the white chocolate. I was out of the cheesecake pudding, so I picked up another box. Lots of popcorn. Costco had the Skinny Pop on sale for $5.50, the huge bag. So I grabbed that for Troy. And then actually at Kroger, I had picked him up the small bag of the butter. This was almost $4. So the Costco one, fantastic deal. So he has the regular and the butter. And then of course, my favorite, which is the lesser evil Himalayan pink salt. So we're also out of shaky cheese, as I like to call it, or Parmesan cheese. So I picked up another container. And then we were also out of the Chosen Foods avocado oil mayo. This is actually my very favorite mayo. It has really nice clean ingredients. I also grabbed toothpaste because this whole five pack was $10, which is such a great deal. And this is the Crest 3D white toothpaste. I also grabbed another huge pack of the pre-boiled, pre-shelled, individually packaged hard-boiled eggs. Both Troy and I love hard-boiled eggs and this is just really convenient because you can take them with you pre-shelled, ready to go. And then you know how much I love my Simply Protein bars. I actually ate the lemon coconut one on my way home from Costco and I'm completely out. These are also on coupon, so it's a great time to try these out. There's the peanut butter chocolate, the lemon coconut. This one actually has pieces of coconut in it. It's so good. And then the dark chocolate sea salt. These are only 150 calories and have 15 grams of protein. So I love them and I was excited to see them on coupon. Also on coupon is the three pack of the Crest mouthwash. So I picked that up. I want to say all three of them were about $7. We are almost out of peanut butter and they did not have Jif at Costco. So I got Skippy. This is the peanut butter Troy prefers. And usually I buy Jif, but they didn't have it. So Skippy it is. I got some more grass fed butter. This is basically Costco's version of Kerrygold. It's much cheaper. Tastes exactly the same. You know, I've been using regular grass fed butter for my protein pancakes toast, whatever I need butter for. I also grabbed some Hillshire Farm Naturals turkey. I also have been eating a lot of lunch meat and I'm mindful of the ingredients. No nitrites, no nitrates. The Naturals actually is a pretty highly rated deli meat. I mean, as good as deli meat can be. And this was a really good deal at Costco. My favorite string cheese in the world is the Organic Valley Stringles. 
This string cheese is so good and there's actually seven grams of protein, which is pretty high for a string cheese. I also grabbed some hangers. Uh, we're always running out of hangers and these are those kind of velvet non-slip ones. 50 hangers was only $15. I thought that was a really, really good deal. So I grabbed that. Also my face wipes were on coupon. So I grabbed two boxes. I use these a lot for my beauty channel doing swatches. And I also like to use these to take off the last little bit of my makeup after cleansing. They were $10 a box. So I grabbed two boxes and then I was out of my Sonicare tooth heads, I guess, toothbrush heads. These are $65. That is crazy to me, but they last forever. I think you only swap it out every like two to three months. When this little thing, blue head turns white, it needs to get swapped out. So they last a long time. I was just like, holy moly, $65. A little guacamole packet. We are doing boot camp girls night on Friday. We're actually doing a cookie night. Similar to the cookie one I went to where you decorate cookies, but we're doing like workout thing cookies. It's gonna be so fun. And we're having a taco bar. So I signed up for guacamole and salsa. I also grabbed this huge pack of pepperoni for Troy. He's been adding this to frozen pizzas. He's been making breakfast sandwiches and like grilled cheese melts out of pepperoni. This was only $10 at Costco, which is an amazing deal. So I picked that up. Of course, of course Troy's favorite cereal, his Kashi Toasted Berry Crisp. And then he actually asked for Costco muffins. So I grabbed six of the poppy seed and six of the blueberry. The poppy seed are my favorite, so I'll probably eat these too. I just usually have like half or a quarter. I haven't looked up the nutrition information in 20 years, but I know that these are like, I think six or 700 calories, but he asked for them, so I picked those up. And then for produce for the week, oh, let's start over here. For produce for the week, I have baby spinach. I need spinach for a recipe, and I've been trying to add spinach to my eggs in the morning. And then they have this big pack of organic baby spring mix on sale for $2, and I thought that Troy could have this for his salads. I may actually have some salads this week as well. No surprise to anyone, more mini cucumbers. This is a staple in our house. I needed some bananas for a recipe, and then I always keep bananas in the freezer for smoothies. A red onion. We've kind of decided that we prefer red onion over regular, so I'm just going to buy a red or one or two red onions every week for any recipe that calls for onions. I also got this ginormous sweet potato. <laughs> I have a recipe that calls for two sweet potatoes, and this big one is the equivalent of two. And then Kroger had their one pound strawberry pints for 77 cents, which is such a good deal. So I grabbed two of those. And then last but I forgot to film a couple things. So I did get some fat-free milk for Troy. And then also I got a Zip Fizz variety. I was excited for this. It has five different kinds of Zip Fizz in it. So those are the other two things I picked up from Costco. A big pack of raspberries. What's not shown is Diet Coke for Troy. So let's go ahead and jump into what's on my menu for dinners and what you'll see in Monday's meal prep. So here's what is on my menu for the week. So today, Saturday, as always, is an out to dinner. Sunday, I'm going to be making enchiladas. Monday, you will actually see this in Wednesdays, what I eat in a day. I'm doing a sticky teriyaki meatball and rice. Really excited for that recipe. Tuesday's leftovers. Wednesday, I'm making chicken cordon bleu. Thursday and Friday, we always do leftovers. That way we finish up everything from earlier in the week. Meal prep is back. So here's what you'll see in Monday's meal prep. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss it. I am making a sous vide egg bite, kind of similar to Starbucks for breakfast. Lunch, I'm gonna do barbecue meatloaf meal prep. We're gonna throw some veggies in as well. And then I'm making a zucchini bar. Now this is a sweet, kind of reminiscent of zucchini bread bar. So definitely stay tuned for all three recipes on Monday. Thank you for joining me for another weekly haul. I hope you enjoyed seeing the massive amount of things that I picked up. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Again, subscribe if you're not. I would love to have you here. And we do a grocery haul every Saturday. Check out that description box for nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things. And of course, don't forget, come on over, join our Facebook group. We'd love to have you. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.